First at Sex, a First Coast News exclusive. Tonight, we take you onto land that many of you demanded to be saved from bulldozers. It's Fish Island in St. Augustine. Thank you for joining us. I'm Anthony Austin. And I'm Jeannie Blaylock. It's not really an island anymore. It is part of Anastasia Island. The 50-some acres sit on the eastern side of the 312 bridge, right on the intercoastal waterway. Many people fought to save it, even though they had only really seen it from the road and the water, but now a conservation group is in the works to buy and preserve this property. And Jessica Clark is on your side tonight. She has gained access to Tour Fish Island, and she shows us what so many of you fought to keep natural. Take a look. Deep inside the Fish Island property. Now, let's see here. I introduced two strangers to each other who have ties to this land. Oh. Jim McCarthy, president of the North Florida Land Trust, which is in the process of buying these 57 acres. This is my first time back this far. And archaeologist yeah. Carl Halbert, who 19 years ago dug and studied the colonial plantation ruins here. Things looked a, a lot different. I mean, by map and by memory, Halbert is taking us to the historic ruins in the woods. Jim, we found it. So this is where the sentry box was right here. Wow. These coquina bricks used to make up that guardhouse for the Jesse Fish Plantation, an orange plantation. At one time had 3,000 orange trees. That was the start of Florida's citrus industry. So you're thinking 17? Late 1700s, 1700s, early 1800s. We searched for other ruins, like the Colonial Water Canal. Over here, so this is part of it right here, that channel. Well, right now it looks like it's shallow, but Historically, it would have been a little bit deeper, probably about three or four feet deeper. Really a canal. Really like a canal, yeah. So a waterway to get to the house. Right. Correct. I yeah. really wanted to find the foundation of the two-story plantation house. Now we should be coming up to our house here. We're getting close, uh, maybe up a little bit further. But there was just too much vegetation. I think if the vegetation could be kind of cleared off a little bit, yes. we would actually see the remnants of the wall. And so on our hike, we have now made it to the coastline and check it out. This is the Intracoastal Waterway. And according to some experts, this is some of the last untouched property that is on the Intracoastal Waterway in Northeast Florida. The natural beauty is evident in flora and fauna. Well, Jim, what are you going to do with that? Thing? Well, we don't really know. McCarthy says first, the state cabinet has to approve money from the Florida Forever Fund to help the land trust buy the land. He can't tell us the price just yet. Would it be turned into a park? Would it be left natural? It's too early to know right now. At the moment, our intention was to preserve it. What happens after that is, is kind of, if you will, icing on the cake. And just phenomenal to, to see all this. It's, 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 it, it takes you back to history. It's part of Florida. Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.